Welcome back. My name is Haunted Faith. And before this video actually gets started, I would just like to remind you guys I am doing a Q&A for my 100 subscriber video. I am three subscribers away from being at 100. Thank you so much for for that. Before the the Q and A, I, I will need you guys to ask me any questions down below in, in the comment section of any video. It doesn't matter with which one, or you can tweet them at me. My my Twitter is down below in the the, the description. So ask me questions for the Q and A, and let's go ahead and get right to the the video. This Ghost Adventures overview is on Castillo de San Marcos. Castillo de San Marcos was built in the 1600s, and the English came and wiped out almost the whole town. And after that happened, the town made their decision on building Castillo de San Marcos, the fort, to add more protection to the city for the next attack that might happen. In 1702, that's when the biggest siege took place on the fort. The hills around the fort are unmarked grave, graves uh, of so many random bodies, it's unreal. So if you walk down the hills around the fort, you are literally walking on thousands of random bodies and unmarked graves. When people go in there, whether it's employees, or people that are taking tours, or people that are just visiting, the, the fort. People say the most uh, paranormal occurrences are people being touched or attacked or pushed. A boy by the name of Cal was with his family like at the fort. He got his picture taken on top of the fort and to the left of Cal you, you, you could see an old soldier, a ghostly apparition of an old soul soldier beside him you can make out a lot of details of this picture. It's amazing. During sieges and during attacks at the fort, people would be taken prisoner. It would be chained up and left for dead. Very few would get out alive. An apparition of a floating head. The floating head used to belong to an Indian chief known as Osceola. And the most infinite, I'm sorry, the most infamous apparition that is usually seen, is seen there, it, it takes place up on top of the fort, and is supposedly an apparition of a soldier holding a lantern. So if you're at the fort and you see a bright light randomly like getting flickered around, it could be the apparition of the soldier holding the, the lantern. Not only Castillo de, 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 de San Marcos, but any fort built around that era is mainly used and it is mainly built out of coquina shells. It's, if, if a fort is built out of the co coquina shells, it could take attacks on cannons or any weaponry very well. It just absorbs the impact. And now for the investigation. The first thing that they got was an unexplained scream. But then as they, 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 they walk around and they go into a room known as the Bones Room, Zach gets a really strong, unexplained breeze just thrown on him in the front and on the back of his neck. He, he, he said it was as hard as blowing out of your mouth. Like, and, and soon after that, they, they got two EVPs. One was an, un, was an unexplained voice and one was an unexplained growl. Whenever Zach told, told, told Aaron to go back to base to get, to get another X camera, on the way there, Aaron heard some loud running footsteps behind him. And, and, and soon after that, later, like later on, they, get, they, 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 they yet got another unexplained growl and an un, unexplained voice. The once they actually went back to the, the bones room, that they, 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 they got more unexplained fo footsteps. In an, in an, in an, in an unexplained breath. And Zach D decided to use a new piece of equipment. It's practically a gun with a word database that ghosts can use their, their, their energy to select words. And they got Prey, Remote, Delayed, Post, Not, Turn, and Upstairs. And last but not least, 
they got whatever what everybody has been seeing the 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 soldier with the lantern they got it on camera it was a flickering light so that's all i got for this ghost adventures o -O overview it, it was a good one and this was on castillo de san marcos so thanks for watching don't forget to ask me questions for my q a whether you do it in the, in the comment section or on Twitter, it doesn't matter. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you click on the picture to the right, that will take you to the website of the Ghost and Haunts Tour. If you click on the video to your left, that will take you to my playlist where all my paranormal investigations are held. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.